hey guys welcome back so in this video we are going to see how to create a registration form in our ASP project and we will be storing that data in our users table so let's get started with it so first let us create a page for that so just say add new item and here you just click on web and you have your web form right so just rename this to register.aspx add and you have got it over here register.aspx so we are going to use bootstrap to design our registration page so first let us go to getbootstrap.com website hit enter and go to the docs search for forms and just scroll down you will see here you got a form with a label and text box and a submit button so that code you can just copy it from here and paste it inside your this form and div you can just remove this div it's not required just leave this form over here and paste so in the bootstrap code there is another form we'll just remove that and align this Just keep it inside a main div. Control X, paste. Okay. So now we need to add the CSS link, right? So in our home.aspx, we had used that. So here it is. Just copy that and paste it over here so the title for this page is going to be register and we have included the CSS so that navbar we just include that also just copy and paste and we have the JS also so just copy that and paste save So let us now check the output. Just run the project. We'll just close this old one. And here you can see your register.aspx. We have got this text box. So let us just put it in one small form. So just stop. And here we are going to use the container div class equal to container copy and paste container row and here you have column md8 so we have added two extra div over here so we need to close the divs okay and here we are going to add another div and we'll add the class card so here we need to close the div so one is the card and the other one is going to be card body and before this card body we will have a card header and close the div there itself so here i'm going to keep a h4 tag and say register now just save and refresh your output so you can see we've got this thing Okay, this should be card header and we'll add a color to this bg primary save and in your row you just have to give here justify content center save and refresh so you've got this basic form 
will give some space from between the nav bar in your container you can just say margin top three refresh okay let's make it five so here let's add the text white class name and this thing must become white or here yes i'll just correct that spelling so now we had made multiple columns in the previous video in our users table we have the f name l name gender phone so let us start creating the text box for that so this line you can just remove and i'll just unpin this and this thing you can just remove so we will not be using this input type equal to email instead we will be using the text box from our standard toolbox which is provided in this microsoft visual studio so just search for text box and drag and drop it over here and just add this class over here so you will have a property called css class equals just this form control you have to paste it inside that and remove the old one so wherever we have this input type right we are going to replace it with text box and this text box id we are going to change it to email so similarly for all the fields we need to create so just copy this and paste and this will be the first name this is going to be the last name and just change this id f name and this is the l name and this is the email let's remove all these things copy and paste first name last name and then we have the gender and the phone number so this is going to be the phone and for this gender i'll just remove this thing we're not going to use text box we'll be using radio buttons so just a radio button paste it over here we will just rename this so one is going to be male and the other one is going to be female and in the design just right click and select properties so here you will have a group name so just select that and say gender select the female radio button and here in the group name give the same name as gender and go back to your source so you can see group name gender over here we have given the f name l name gender phone email and then we have the password to say password and this is going to be home control id is equal to password select this text box and scroll down and here you have text mode so just select that and here you have password okay so you can see here text mode password so when you type this text box you will not be able to see the value so it will come as password so let us just refresh our output and check so i'll just save and refresh so you can see we have got it over here name and here we need to add label for this so just go over here and select label just put it over here for so this text changes to male and the other one to female and refresh so i've got it over here 
male and female so this text box looks too big so i'm just going to divide this into a half let's just do that quickly so inside your card body you need a div and with the class row copy and paste so this is going to be column md6 Control X and paste it inside this. Copy and paste. Copy and paste. Control X. Save Okay, so just copy and paste So let us just save and check our output. So go to the Chrome and refresh. So I have just missed out something. Let us just check. Here it is. So here I'm just missing this closed tag. Save. And just align these things let's check the output refresh and here it is so here there is one mistake in our alignment so this text box should be on this right side so let us just check so here we have column md6 6 and I think we haven't put this in the column md6 yeah so just I'll just open this and copy and paste and this whole thing is just control X and paste it here save and refresh okay so just put a BR tag over here after your label just add a br tag save and refresh okay so in this video we have done the designing of the register page in our asp project so thank you for watching this video guys please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you